What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and pretty excited for this weekend because we've been wanted to like come here for a long time. We have. So in the process of coming here, they actually ended up inviting us and we are here at the Sankara Hotel by yeah. Marriott Autograph Collection. And it's nice. It's very nice. It's so very it's in the nice. Westlands too, just so yeah. people know. Mm -hmm. um, Let's sh let's show you around. <laughs> we have a lot planned, actually. Yeah, we, so we're doing a full tour and experience everything in the yeah. in this hotel. So as usual, let's start with a quick room tour. Yeah. It's not too big, but it's very pretty. It is very nice. So yeah. let's do that. Let's up, start up to Tracy. <laughs> so welcome to our room. The first thing you come in, you have your bathroom. You have your separate toilet in there. Oops. Nice big shower. And I opened the door the wrong way. Why not? <laughs> But again, my favorite, we actually have a bathtub in this room and I didn't think we would. So with the size of it, it works out perfect. We have robes in here as a closet. Nice spot to put your luggage. Oh, just FYI, our bags, we've held, used them for probably about a month now. They're still holding up great. We told you we'd get back to you on that. And then we have a king size bed and it looks so perfect. I don't even want to like jump on it. It's so smooth and soft. And then you have like a day bed, windows, but look what they put out for us. We have some two desserts, some chocolate truffles, and a bottle of red wine from Italy. Our favorite. <laughs> course as soon as I arrived I'm waiting to eat some of this but we do have lunch first so I think we're gonna save these for dessert when we come back from lunch but I'm gonna have a chocolate chapel oh my gosh it's super soft on the inside it's so good let's see if uh, they're this good mmm I feel bad cuz like we never say that something is bad. <laughs> I feel like we sound fake. We just love food a lot. We are major foodies and food has to be really bad for us to like, mm -hmm. not like it. This is not bad at all. <laughs> no, it's phenomenal. Just a little bit too much cocoa powder. <laughs> we both kind of <laughs> choked on it. <laughs> okay, a few extra feature from this room that I like. First of all, everything is like digital. So that's pretty cool, pretty fancy. There is literally like USB plugs everywhere, also beside the bed as well. And something super cool. I don't know why I think it's super cool. It's not that great, but I think it's cool. It's a cool feature. We get this, which give you some privacy if you want to take a bath, which you know, could be important for some people. I think we'll leave it open. In the background, you can even see the Nairobi skyline over there. We're gonna close it back up. There's like a nice little romantic spa ambiance in here that I don't want to ruin, so. So take that sunlight. We just appreciate the look of the hotel, like the hallways, it kind of keeps the same theming. You have like that dark, woody comfortness almost. I love it. So we just arrived at Gray's, which is their signature steakhouse. It looks very, very nice. Like the ambiance is a 10 out of 10. They were actually waiting for us for probably the nicest table in this place. I I'm gonna show it to you. love this restaurant and I just tried the bread so far. <laughs> Cheers. Tracy just did her uh, happy dance approval so I think it's gonna be good. So 
so this smells amazing. It also comes with a piece of bone marrow. Looks like it has like Parmesan on it. Honestly, I've never tried it before, but it looks great. So we have lots of food to eat. <laughs> it's too pretty. I don't want to drink it. They put my name on it. <laughs> Just before leaving the restaurant, Tracy said, I don't know when, uh, how I'm gonna ever eat again. Here it is, five minutes later. It's, no, it's just a try. <laughs> is it good? Mm. You'll really like this one because it's very fruity. I'm more on the chocolate side. No, yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> we are back from lunch. It was so good. So <laughs> they take the winner for like, it's the best tartare I've ever had. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, ever had. Mm -hmm. The steak was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Everything was good. Yeah. Like, I normally eat tartare with bread or, mm -hmm. like, with crackers. I actually eat it by itself. Yeah, it wasn't even needed. Like, no. uh, just give me a big spoon. Yeah. So, anyway, very, very good lunch. Yeah. Very filling. Now we're kind of chilling in the bed because, like, food coma kind of thing. They were like, do you Seriously. want dessert? We're like, no, we'll never eat ever again. And for me to, like, refuse dessert is a big thing. Mm -hmm. And I refuse yeah. dessert. Yeah, so we're going to relax a little bit because we have another meal later on, right? That was yeah. just lunch. That was the heaviest lunch I ever had in my life. <laughs> totally worth it. So worth it. So we're going to chill a little bit. Then we're going to go see what the rest of the hotel look like. Yeah, because there's okay. a pool, there's a gym. Yeah. Rooftop stuff? Yeah. Okay, see you in a few minutes. So after relaxing for a little bit, digest it, drank a monster, <laughs> <laughs> and it's time to go toward the hotel. So we are actually on the seventh floor and the seventh floor is the top floor, meaning that it has a few things. There's a gym, there's a restaurant where we're gonna probably have supper tonight with a bar and everything, like rooftop bar and we love those. And there is, what else? Pool. A pool. I have to say this is probably the best hotel gym I've ever seen. There's even a squat rack. I've been to probably over a hundred hotel in my life. I've never seen a squat rack. Normally they don't have a squat rack because it's a, it's an insurance thing. If you hurt yourself or something like that, it's kind of on them. And if you don't know how to squat. They even have a leg press. Which is rare as well. So that's a very nice gym. I'm just sad that like I already worked out today. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> So the gym is on the seventh floor. We're also gonna show you obviously the bar and the rooftop bar. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, but we're gonna go show you guys downstairs first because we're probably gonna end up at the bar after. That was the beautiful reception. Very nice, very classy, you know, straightforward. I like it, I like the colors and everything. The lighting is perfect. That's my kind of hotel. So the first floor has a basically the steakhouse where we went earlier. Has another restaurant where I think we're gonna have brunch tomorrow. And now we're gonna go to the second floor where there's a nice lounge apparently. So someone just came to our door and they're like, we have a little gift for you. Like, that's super sweet. Let's see what it is. It's a cool box. The Sankara 7. They're like little figurines. There's a hippo. They're like rocks, made out of rocks. So each one of the animals come with a little fact card inside. And this one's for the hippo. And it says what it is in Swahili. So, kaboko? Uh, did you know a hippopotamus is born underwater? The mother helps her baby to the surface to breathe. Hippos bear single young. Calves weigh 55 to 120 pounds and nurse underwater. That's cool. Can you guys hear that music? There's actually a live band here. I'm not sure if it's every weekend, but they're here tonight. It's getting pretty loud. Let's go out. Yeah. 
Fatima Jam. Take me home, country We have that room. Thank you. What a great evening this was. He was amazing. Yeah. The band that was there, they were super good. The singer was just like unbelievable. Yeah. Can we just talk about the fact that he was singing in Swahili, English, French, and Spanish? And then he did normal tone, falsetto, and like baritone. Unbelievable though. voice. All the, all the classic, all, every song I knew, like yeah. literally. Yeah. It was so good, so fun. On top of that, yeah. the food was very good too. The food was amazing. Yeah. Um, it, I, it was so full, I could only eat like half of it because we yeah. weren't even hungry going there, to be honest. That's fair because like the lunch was quite something. But yeah. like it was very good, like, you know, more like a bar kind of food. Yeah. I had a delicious like... Uh, a uh, chicken burger with cheese and fries. Yeah. The fries were so good. They were really good. I only yeah. ate like two, but yeah, we had the we had drinks as well. Yeah. the drinks were very good as well. Yeah, yeah, and on top of that, very nice view so at night. Also, this band is here. I guess it's every Saturday from yeah. four to four eight, to 8. p.m. Yeah, and I was saying to you up there, I was like, I would come back just for an evening with yeah. them, like, just for the band because they're that good. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Overall, very good day, very good night. Yep. I am very, very full. I think we need to like, I can't go to bed yet. Like I need to sit up, I need yeah. to not lay down. Yeah. So <laughs> probably watch a show or a movie or something, something before we're like bed. That. Wind down, chill out. Yeah. Because tomorrow at 12, we need to go for their famous Sunday brunch. I'm excited I'm about it, but 12. right now I don't even want to think about it. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be it for tonight yep. and we're gonna see you guys back in the morning tomorrow <laughs> good night good morning it is the next day we've been uh, just chilling in bed and watching tv for like a few hours <laughs> we haven't done that together in a really yeah. long time. Basically, we're waiting for, for the Sunday brunch to mm -hmm. start because it starts at 12. So now we have about an hour to go. So Can we're we going to appreciate, though, yeah. how good we slept last oh night. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That comforter is like <laughs> so comfy. And the pillows are like down filled yeah. and just super yeah. squishy. And the room gets really dark. Oh, yeah. best. Anyway, thing. so yeah. now we're going to get a shower, get ready for Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. I'm always excited about Sunday brunch. Plus, like, I mean, I didn't eat breakfast, even though we ate a lot yesterday. I'm hungry. Um, I'm starving. I know. So let's get ready, because I can't wait to see this lunch. There's uh, there's bottomless prosecco and and everything again. So hey, I'm excited. That's very nice. Keep keep yawning. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A lemon? Huh. This makes me think of Lemonade Finance. You keep supporting our channel, so thank you so much. If you guys ever need to transfer money from Canada to the UK, Europe, Nigeria, and of course Kenya to M-Pesa directly, make sure to use the link down below and use code DAVEMANY to get 10% money back on your first transfer. It is finally 5 to 12, meaning that we can go for breakfast, brunch, brunch, brunch. Brunch that goes until five. Yeah, so this brunch is actually every Sunday here at the Sankara Hotel from 12 to five. That's a very long brunch, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go there straight at noon because we want to be one of the first one to see, you know, like the presentation, everything before everyone comes and destroys it. So just the first impression, as soon as you get out of the elevator, it's already very impressive. Hemingway's has some competition. <laughs> So 
as soon as you get off the elevator, you're greeted by the Hendrix Gin display and cocktail bar. And so we're getting two drinks right now. My mind is blown. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, Hemingway's. <laughs> <laughs> you're beat. <laughs> So this buffet actually starts downstairs. There's a DJ when you first come in and even like they call it Taco Bell. So you have like guacamole and chips and all that to get in a bag to walk around and eat because it takes so long to see everything. So this brunch is massive. We're gonna go try and um, figure out where to start. And in case you get lost, they have a map for you. Just in case. So we went in with a little strategy. Um, we don't take doubles, so we're gonna share everything because there's so many things to actually try. I'm speechless right now. I don't think we saw 15% of what they have to offer and like, we have two full plates. I was just saying to him too, being like, we need a strategy, like we need to eat very slow and not stuff everything down. <laughs> like, yeah. So much food, the, so much. The general manager told us that we have to try everything and go to the gin station at least five <laughs> times. We'll see, see what we can do. <laughs> like mozzarella, tomato, pesto, and basil. It's delicious. Phenomenal. So the way it's built, there's actually like little section for different countries as well. So I have basically a full plate of India because I love Indian food. We have some pizza, we have a bagel bun, a bunch of different Mine salads. Is like salads. Ooh. This is freaking amazing. Yeah. Round two. Time to try out some more. Up next, meat and sushi. So I'm starting off with a fried veggie one. Something else we had to try was the pasta station. The pasta actually handmade with different types of sauce and vegetable that you can add. It looks really, really good. Welcome to Italy. So this place is super cool. So when you go for a dessert, it's almost like a little storefront or something. And you literally just pick up the plate with the dessert that you want and you take it and leave. So super excited about this place. Not excited as the next place, but I'm sure these are gonna be great. You'll understand why. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. Welcome to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Lab. Before we start, I just want to thank Sangara Hotel here in Nairobi because they they were they treated us like royalty. Like since we arrived, they've been more than amazing. And because like you know we we walked everywhere in the hotel because we were filming and everything, and I can tell that they treat all their clients like that. So yeah. customer service like a one. Yeah. So something I really enjoyed with this trip as well, even though it was a staycation, we literally tried every restaurant so yeah. and there was no so like cool. it's not like they can cook a better recipe because we're here you know no. what i mean like you do get the true experience 
So first of all, we're gonna try and go through this very quickly. The room, fantastic ambiance. Yeah. I love the coziness of it and yeah. best sleep I've ever had. Like Dark color, bed. wood, the, the, the blackout curtain. Amazing. It's phenomenal. And that yeah. comforter, please. Like this is the best comforter <laughs> I ever. I know. Great Amazing. night of sleep. <laughs> Um, and then we went to the steakhouse like we showed you. The food was phenomenal. I even told one, I think it was the executive chef yeah. today during brunch, their tuna, like tuna tartare, tuna in yeah. everything, is it's the so best good. quality tuna that I have had. Yeah. It just like, melts just, in your mouth. So yeah. that was very good. The steakhouse, the meat was delicious. Yeah. Everything we had at the steakhouse was super nice. Plus the ambiance of the steakhouse itself, little like yeah. New York vibe or something. Yeah. It was phenomenal. And I highly suggest that you go to the steakhouse at night though and not for lunch because you're going to like want to sleep for the Stop. rest of the day. So. And let me just say too though, with every restaurant, like you don't have to stay here to be at the restaurant. Like no. the steakhouse, we actually considered coming beforehand, but then mm -hmm. this got set up. So yeah. we waited. Um, Last night, when we went to the restaurant stared, again, food was amazing. So the band that was there, they actually, do I have this right? They won the African American Idol? S something like that. Like uh, East Africa has some sort of American yeah. Idol. I don't have all the details, but basically like the, the, the guys that were there yesterday, like won like the overalls. And it showed. And well deserved. Like those guys were amazing. amazing. The singer was like wow yeah just so so good and i, I would come back, back here just for the band uh, that's exactly what i was gonna say yeah. yeah and then this morning when we go to brunch like i was picturing just like a a typical what i call a typical american brunch so like we said this before mm -hmm. brunches back home are they're good yeah but they're not phenomenal yeah exactly because there's a big quality of food yeah. and everything like that yeah. oh my goodness yeah. Just before you say that, like, I don't know if you guys remember it and don't tell Hemingway's, but like, I don't know if you remember when we did the, the Hemingway, uh, brunch, Sunday yeah. brunch review at the end, we were like, you know, like if you go there yeah. to, to drink a lot of Prosecco, eat lobster and a few sushi, like it is worth the price, but otherwise like, you know, it's a little bit overpriced here to be honest, it's a little bit more expensive, but damn, is it worth it? And like, I don't say that lightly. Not at all. Like it's phenomenal. It was so good. Everything was good. So there's two different prices actually. When you come and get like the all-inclusive drink package, I think it's uh, 6,500. Yeah. And then if you come and don't do the drink, I think it's 4,500. Yeah, 4,500. The all-inclusive drink, I mean like bottomless Prosecco, bottomless gin cocktails and vodka cocktails and beer. Yeah. So like literally all- It's pretty much an open bar. Yeah. <laughs> all of the food was amazing. Yeah. The all desserts. The, all the different stations were like super good. Some Indian food, Asian food. The yeah. pasta. The pasta were phenomenal. Handmade pasta, yeah. delicious sauce. They make it just how you like it. Yeah. They had a bun, a sal uh, yeah, salad bar, sushi bar. Yeah. The the meat station was unbelievable. Like I'm sorry, but they had some really big yeah. and expensive pieces of meat in there. Shawarma yeah. station, uh, Kenyan Indian, food station, Chinese, like, like Asian, and apparently a soup station that we didn't even see. Oh, and tacos downstairs. And the tacos grab. downstairs that we didn't even go. I'll probably grab some before leaving. Yeah. But like they guys, they give you a map. Okay, yeah. they give you a map because there's and so much cool, to see. Like, how cool is the theming for the dessert? You have, like, your dessert store type thing. Yeah. Um, and then you have the Willy Wonka one, too, that he makes, like, the pastry chef just uh, such a good presentation with, yeah. like, the liquid nitrogen. Like, it's, it's just... a very wow moment. It was really good. Yeah, and I have to make a comment. So, desserts normally when they... People are going to think I'm crazy, but when they look really good, they normally aren't that great. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That chocolate that we had. That's amazing. Amazing. And their truffles here, it just sounds like truffles, but you have to try the truffles. Yeah. Anyways, phenomenal. Yeah. Everything was good. Great food, great Going staff, food great coma. room. I never want to eat again, but it was worth every <laughs> bite. So that's pretty much it. So thanks, like, thank you again thank to you Sankara so for having us. We had a blast. It was yeah. wonderful. We will be back for brunch. Yeah, for sure, with friends. We're yeah. going to link their Instagram and their website down below. But until then, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. In the next one. Oh, just in time. I know, that's all. <laughs>